Testing, testing, one, two. What's going on, brother? Um, I hope I got this right. I hope you can hear the audio. But anyway, let's get to it. So, the basics. You got Reaper opened up. First thing you're going to want to do is I'm going to send you what's called an ASIO driver so you won't get latency. Like how sometimes you'll try to record your vocals and it'll sound late, or, you know, delayed in the headphones or... When I do get your virtual keyboard set up and you push a key on the virtual on the QWERTY keyboard and the sound triggers delayed, you want to fix that with an ASIO driver. And I'm going to send that to you. And when you get it, just run it. I'm going to send it to you, double click it, run it, store it on the desktop, and that'll be that. It's very easy. Once you do that, you're going to go right up here to options. Click options, come on down to preferences. Then you want to go to see general, general audio and device. Click device. And here is where you would set your ISO driver. Now, I don't have mine set right now because I got the software going through the video recording program and then through a, I got my microphone going through separately. I can't use the ASIO driver on both of them at the same time. There's a way to do it, but that's another story. So anyway, options, down to preferences. This window will pop up. Come on down to audio device. Here in audio system, you click that and you'll see ASIO because you would have installed the driver. You will see that and you will click that. I can't click it now. But you would select that, and you'll still have input output, and you would just select your input as whatever your mic, if it's your computer mic you're using, you would set it as that default primary sound capture, whatever it's going to say. And output, same thing, your computer speakers, or primary default, whatever it'll say. And that'll be that. You ain't going to have to worry about none of this. I ASIO already have all that set up, and you would just hit apply, and okay. And you'll be set up with that. So, a couple more basic things. You already know this is your get back to the start point on the grid. Lead forward to the very end of the project. Stop, play, pause, record. And this is how you set toggle, repeat, or loop if you want whatever you got down here to loop. This is how you would set that. When it's enabled, uh, you see all this new project, open project, same thing. You want to start a new one, click that. Want to open one, click that. Or go to file, same thing. Just shortcuts, save, blah blah blah. Um, you know, undo tracks and undo and all that. Redo. This is your metronome. Um, these other things, auto crossfades. Um, edit grouping. You'll see what that's for later on. But what you probably want to know is snap the grid so when you move in items around if you want to snap the grid you want that to be enabled when it's not lit up it's disabled and this is here is how you set the grid almost like you set quantize you would turn it off if you don't want no lines and you want to just free record turn it on and on your lines if you want to see what spacing that is you would right click on it you see now it's that a one fourth quantize, you could change that to whatever. Change it to one sixteen. See now I got more lines and that'll be more places to drag and snap to. We'll, we'll leave it at. I'm gonna put it at one fourth. I'm gonna leave it there for now. But uh so that's what those do. You got your ASIO driver set up. I'll show you in another video. No, I might be able to show you how to install a plugin real quick. But uh, let me try to be fast with this. Uh, excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Okay, my bad. Uh, so we're gonna bring up a track now. So you can bring up a track to right here, insert, uh, 
you know. Oh, that's, that's how, how you bring, bring the plug in. in. My bad. But uh, you could do it that way. You could, uh, you know, insert this and you know, a track Control T just to bring up a track. It's Control T, or you can click this, or you can just double click in here. Hit delete or double click down here. It really don't matter. But um, there you go. So that's how you bring up a track. And um, we want to load it with some sound, right? So you know how to go to effects. We're going to bring up resample matic And we're going to drag the sound in. You can go down here to your media explorer. And that should be there. If it's not there, view. Go to media. Check that box, media explorer. And it'll be down here. You can check it. And this, you know, you just go through your folders wherever you got your sound stored. So here, let me go to some drums. Drum diddy dum. I'm gonna go boom. You remember these? It really don't matter. Just bring up some drums. Dum 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 dum. And I don't know what the hell I got here, but let's do it. I don't know if you can hear that. They low it. Uh, horrible but let's drag one just drag it drop it on in there now if you hit this you'll be able to hear it but how do you set the virtual keyboard up well we're gonna go back over here to the track and like I still told you you can either right click here oops I mean left click here or use this window here and come down input MIDI MIDI, virtual MIDI keyboard, all channels. Click, because remember back in the day when you had the MP and connect it to the cord, you had to match the MIDI channels and all that. Well, you can set it to all and it'll pick up all MIDI channels, whatever your instrument is set to. So here it's on zero, so that's for all two. And even if I did set it to something else, one or 16 or whatever, it would still pick up. But we're going to leave it at zero. So you got that set to zero. You got your mid virtual input set. Go back to the meter, right click it. That's not what you wanted. Not that window with there's certain new tracks. Do that again. Right click it and you should get monitor input. Select that. You wanna arm your track. You gotta have the track arm to do any kind of recording. Record armed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt and hit B. And that brings up our virtual keyboard. Don't matter what this is set to because it's triggering this, which is talking to this, and they're set to all. So now that I got that going, if I click a key, I'll hear something. I hope you can hear it. If I hit a key on the QWERTY keyboard, oops. Okay, I'm not getting anything for some reason. I didn't do something stupid. Let's see. Uh, no, I didn't. There we go. So I'm hitting keys on the keyboard, and you see now it's triggering them. Now they're all in the same pitch, right? Let's say you wanted to, you know, have them to pitch up and down. So what we do is go here in the Samplematic to mode, click sample here and go to notes, semi shifted, semi tone shifted. Then when you go back here and you hit some, you see I'm shifting notes now and it'll be spread on the keyboard. But I'm gonna put it back because I ain't finna do nothing special. I feel like finding the notes. But um, yeah, so you got that set up now. See it being triggered MIDI and audio. You should be hearing it back. If it's red, I mean it's clipping, you might want to bring it down a little bit in the instrument. Just, hmm, there's nothing. Click it, and that red will go away. And boom, 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 Now, there you go. So that's triggering that now. Now, if I want to record it, I can X this out if I want. You can X, you leave this up because you got to have it selected. So you have to have this click on it and be selected to trigger it from your QWERTY keyboard. 
So we want to record now. We got to set some things up. The metronome. What you could do is you just click it to enable it. So I'm gonna click it. We gonna right click it though to get the settings. So you would want to enable metronome if you want to count in before start recording. Oh, one bar or measure count or two. I got this set at two, two bars or two measures, and it's gonna count in two bars before it start recording. This is a volume slider for the volume of the metronome. Sometimes it'd be too low. You might need to turn it up. Double click goes to zero. But anyway, that's that. You got that click, so you can just exit out. Now, if I just hit spacebar for play or the play button, it'll just play, not record, but you'll hear the metronome. All right, so make sure we back at zero. So now we want to record this. So when I hit record now, this or control R is going to count in two bars before it um, start recording. So when I hit that, I got to make sure I go back here and click this so it'll be enabled so I can start touching my QWERTY keyboard and triggering sound. So let's do it. So I'm going to hit the record button. One, two, make sure I click this. Two, two, three, four, and uh, uh, uh. Now, that didn't come out uh, when you I hit stop, space bar, or you could have clicked up there. You see where it stopped. You hit save to save that recording or delete so that I can delete to get rid of it. I'm gonna save it. Cause I really just wanted a one bar. You see it has no kind of quantize on it which it probably ain't gonna pick up because I ain't using ASIO, but let's see. I'm gonna undo this and do it again. I'm gonna show you how to set the quantize. There's a global quantize setting, but I can't remember, excuse me, right this second. So let me show you how to do it for the individual tracks. In the meter, right click. You should see this window with the monitor input come all the way down to track record settings, input quantize. Click that. Here's your quantize window. You enable it. And you can set it to whatever you want. Right now it's set to one eighth. I'll leave it there. And you can set the swing if you want. Another thing, don't worry about none of this. All right, so set, exit out. Make sure I'm back at the beginning and I'm gonna turn this loop off. And uh, let's record. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And stop and I'm gonna save that I'm gonna keep it now again all I wanted was a one bar so let's say I um, I could keep this see how now the notes are I hit space for playback and so on take the metronome off click it now if I want to leave it at two bars I could just click here and it'll go right on the line because I have this snap to grid enabled. So wherever you click, it'll snap on the line because it's snap to grid. If I wanted that off, I would turn it off and then I'll be able to click and put the cursor anywhere. But we're going to leave that on and we're going to snap it right here on this bar. And I'll hit S. S is for split. That's how you split these items. So I'll hit S and see it splits it from that. See? So now I just delete that if it's selected so now bam there's my this is a two bar loop i can hit this here to make it loop or repeat could disarm it we're not recording and boom and you see it looping so let's do it again let's add a snare you could duplicate this and add a you know change the instrument if you don't feel like going through a bunch of you know doing it all over again but if not i mean you know what i mean like you could right click here and hit duplicate tracks and you'll have all the same settings and you just change what you got in the um you know the sound that you have in um in resample -O matic so that's one way you do it see but you'll get all this too, so you'll have to delete that and that. So let's say you didn't want to do it that way. We just gonna open up a new track. Open up another track. Put in resample matic again. Double click. I'm gonna go down here and find the snare real quick. Oh my god, so 
Dang it sounds. Uh, don't matter. Just throw that in there. Uh, so that. Now if you remember, remember your MIDI channels down here. Input virtual keyboard. Once again, you could just click all. That's set to all. And you want to be able to, if you do this, you won't be able to hear it because it's not, the monitor input isn't on. Right click in that meter, select monitor input, and you got to have an arm. And now, and I hit my keyboard, my QWERTY keyboard. And we go with that. So that's triggered. So now, let's, you can exit out if you want. Let's record it. Let's quantize it. Right click here track record settings quantize on booyah and now let's see it was a little hot go back to the beginning and make sure this loop is off because I don't want to do no kind of loop in it recording them over because I don't have overdub set up you could I'll show you how to do that but I don't uh, so I'm gonna take that off and again it's gonna count in twice when I hit record one, two, three, four. Oops. It didn't. Let me delete this because delete. It immediately started recording because I don't have the metronomes turned on, which has the county and recording enabled. So I gotta click that. And now it's gonna give me that two bar county. Remember I'm gonna have to click this and then go back and click the uh, virtual keyboard. One, two, three, click, two, two, three, four. save that look like the quantize caught it up to here now how do you get into these now that you got these items you can this is the uh, kick let's label it kick I double clicked in this window let's call it kick enter let's call it your snare enter I'm to do that then you can click these items so this is the kick, and I can double click that, and it'll take me into the MIDI window now, where I can add notes, move them around, stretch them, shorten them, and so on and so forth. You know what to do in the grid. Here's the snare one. We got that last one is off, so I'm gonna move it, and it's gonna move snap into grid, because I have snap to grid enabled. This is on a 16. I could change it to an eighth, since that's what I'm quantizing. <clears throat> but you can do what you will with that per your needs. So there's that is. Um, something don't look right. Okay, so that stops for some reason. Oh yeah, I didn't split it yet. But that's how you do that. I'm gonna click here. Hit S for split. See it splits. And y'all can delete that. And also, if you just wanted to, let's say you wanted to add, I don't know. Okay, this is how you copy. I click this, I hold control. And then I just click, hold, and drag. And I can move that wherever. It'll snap to the grid because this is enabled. Now I got four bars. So let's say I got these, but let's say I want to add a different rhythm here. What I could do is I can go here and put the cursor here, hold with left click, drag. See, I select and over to the start three here make sure this track is selected by clicking it go to insert new MIDI item bam then I could click into that and I could step right into that I could add all kind of you know notes or rows I could by just double clicking notes in however you know whatever you want to do you could do that delete you can do it like that. That's how you can insert a MIDI item. Or, if you wanted to, you can get rid of that. You can uh, leave that selected if you wanted to stop recording after it passes that threshold. Or, you move the mouse over it, click and hold, and you drag them back, the points back together to make it go away. And you can set the cursor, say, here. And you could pick up recording from here. Or you could come back from the beginning, 
you can right click and oops wrong one my bad go back over here to the meter right click you can go to record MIDI overdub and let's say I did that record MIDI overdub so let's say you know I want to keep these notes but I wanted to add some fillers or something I don't know so it'll keep these notes down and you know what overdub is so let's do it arm the track back make sure we back at the beginning metronome is enabled uh, right, let's see, I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but let's go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? Some dumb shit like that. But anyway, and it overdubbed it. So I don't know what I did, but you know what I'm saying. So you got that. <clears throat> now, plugins. Do I have any plugins? Um, to install uh, that I haven't installed um, let's see uh, let's see I gotta have something let me see I gotta have something let me see downloads I gotta have okay what's this Viking synthesizer blue art Okay, okay, I know, I know what, what blue art is. is. Well, let's try one of these. So let's try, let's say you downloaded a uh, plugin. All right, click on extract this. It's gonna go to where I want it to go to, make a tone folder, extract, boom, bam, go into here. And this is just a DLL. So really, when they're dot DLLs, all you have to really do is drag stuff over. Let's do the readme to make sure. But all you gotta do is drag or copy these over. It wants to use open office. No thanks. So what you would do is you would drag this to your plugins folder, depending on where you got that at. Now, when you have software, you probably already got a VST folder set up. Reaper has its own VST folder inside of its, you know, program folder. But uh. But what I'm going to do is, what I have is, um, let's see, we're going to go here. And I'm going to go to Program Files. And down here, we got Steinberg VST. I got more than one for some reason. And this folder here. But let's go ahead to Steinberg and VST plugins. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. But I'm gonna drag this one to 64 bit one. Hmm, or should I drag the whole folder? Because I got banks. Yep, I think I'm gonna drag the whole folder. Drag this folder to here. Oh, come on now, baby. Don't do me like that. To here. So I drag that folder to there. Now. What you want to do is go to Options, Preferences, in this side window, you're going to come down to VST, and this is where you would set the folder. See, I got different folders, because you could choose a folder, then you can use this semicolon here and choose another folder, but you can have it set here, have it auto-detect the folders. But once you have that folder set, you can hit rescan and it will scan for all your plugins. You can do that. Then, but since I already did that, I'm gonna open a new track. I'm gonna go to effects and I'm gonna go here. My bad. And scan for new plugins. And go up here. This is new and look at that blue art there it is this is arpeggiator i believe might not work off the gate i think i gotta route this to another plugin i just wanted to show you how to install it so now i can select it so this is blue art yeah i think i gotta run something through this it's just an arpeggiator and a sequencer i don't run sounds through it man these are the different settings so 
don't think that was a good example. But yeah, yeah man. man. Install your plugins. Make sure you go to preferences, VST, and you add your plugin folder here. You would click add. Find your plugin folder wherever it is. Hit OK. You can hit rescan, you know, just to be safe. Or this will VST plugin pass, you know, like an auto detect, which works sometimes and it don't. I recommend you add your, add your folder, hit apply, hit OK. Then when you <clears throat> when you go here, like I showed you the window, you could uh let's say I didn't have this here. Do that remove and go here and you could uh add my bad add and like I showed you I would scan for new plugins and you'll you'll have these tabs here to show you. You could click new and it'll show you new plugins. If it's an instrument they're going to be under VSTI. See all this crap I got. If it's like processing, like effects, like EQs and reverbs and shit, it's going to be under VST. All the, or you can click the instruments. You can create folders for favorites, blah, 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 blah. But um, let's say, okay, so I'm going to VST and say I want to bring up. Where's Model E at? Model E. So there's Model E. You go through the same, you don't have to worry about these channels. You go through the same thing. Select it, make sure the monitor input is on. Input, MIDI, virtual keyboard, all channels. Arm the track. Make sure this track is selected. And then when you select the virtual keyboard, when you push a key. These plugins is free too. I might just shoot them to you. And if you want to um, shift octaves, like this is Z. If you want to go lower, what you would do is uh. You pick a key, you can use the arrow keys to change octaves, like it says, and you can go, make sure it's selected, you can go bam. See how it went down to three now? You go lower. The arrow to go higher. And to set a key as your root key, you could just find the key and you right click it. So now it's in the middle. See, it's a root key now. See what I'm saying? set your quantize you can set this to whatever you want it to be and a little bit of swing if you want go back make sure the track is selected you can get rid of this uh, metronome is on One. click yeah. I'm just doing some bullshit so horrible I can't even take it even though I know it's some bullshit Saved it and let's play it. Let's get rid of that stupid extra snare I threw in there. Okay. I thought I'd double click that, open that up and did that. You can double click this, you can move notes around. You could uh 
down here key snap you could use the colors just for velocity or whatever you need to do um what else did i want to show you oh it's totally off huh? so let's say i hit Control a to select everything and hit q that's to bring up quantize see i snapped everything to quantize okay and we're gonna move you Oops. Control z undo select you and let's move you there i don't know why but i did it okay. Click this, you want to copy it, control, hold control, left click and hold, drag. Now, you could notice, of course, that this ain't long enough. You could do this to drag, but you know, it's going to see when it does that, it's pulling and starting it over for you already. I don't want to do that. But, um, turn the metronome off, and if I hit loop, it's going to end at the furthest one, it's going to loop over. Ow. <laughs> all right man so uh this is what an hour video i don't bullshit your ear off but uh and even double click it name it but that's basically it man i'm gonna shoot you that asio driver i will not forget and um, i'll put together a little plug-in package or you can do what i do man google best free plugins try to get some up-to-date shit think about what you want as far as sounds or effects processing and I'll shoot you some of my shit too. But um, I think that's it, man. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. I don't. Th oh, I did forget one thing. Uh, so let's say here's your tempo. I forgot to tell you how to set the tempo, duh. Go back to zero. Right here is your tempo. You click that and you can enter in a number. Or when you move the mouse here, it says tap tempo. You can do the one, two, three. Now see, it changed the one on one. It changed that. So now my tempo changed. Hey. Well, Alright, I'm gonna put it back to 120. Alright, but that's your tempo. And so let's say I want to find a sample to throw in here. Let's say you didn't want to use resample on Matic, you just want to throw something in the grid because this has that uh, time stretching capabilities, the software. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna find some junk. What can I find? <laughs> Okay. Now, I'm not going to use this, but see how I, I click that? I'm in Media Explorer down here. I click that, it automatically starts playing it because this is like the autoplay. Now, let's say uh, this thing here, if I want it to match to the tempo, like that, and you can do a tempo match. And then let's say I want the trigger on bar. This is just for listening, this ain't recording. I could click Start on Bar. So I can go back up here, play the beat, and I can hit play anywhere and it ain't gonna start into the bar. You see that, of course, that don't go with shit. But let's say I wanted it to, uh, you could do that, you could make it match. I'm gonna take that off to start on bar. You could, you could make the tempo match half, and it'll go slower tempo up there you can make the double you can do that you're gonna turn all that off here is your pitch and it shit and it stretches the pitching without changing the time that's what I like about it so let me stop this uh, select any part and drag it in here so let's say i did this let's say all i wanted was click there let's just do that doom, 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 doom. so there's the one you do that you can roll your mouse up and down there to zoom in and say you want to get it more precise so let's say i did that and then now that i got that selected i will go to the sound here and i would drag it in and it'll only bring in what i cut now, depending on what you got the tempo set on and all of that, 
it's going to do some stretching. I don't have nothing set to be in time right. I'm just showing you what it's going to do. You're going to have to figure that out when you start bringing in different samples. But I bring that in and bam, it just drug in what I chopped, right? And it just brought it in there. Oops, and then I would uh, go up here, back up here and hit play. In. Now you see what it did. This is solo and mute, of course. Now, you could do something like go to the end here, hold Alt, wait a minute, wait a minute, where you at? Yeah, so you go to say the end of it and you can hold Alt and then left click to see that little hand will come up and that will stretch it, look, now it will time stretch it. Now if I hit play, and this a lot to it, brother. Let's say I don't. Uh, uh, let's say you see how I'm gonna make this bigger. Okay, see how these things is almost. See how these the notes are almost on time because of how I stretched it. Now let's say now you could do something like this. You can go here, click, and you can go right. Uh, click and you can do the item processing. No, 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 my bad. I'm looking for uh, my bad. Uh, I'm looking to stretch, I'm looking for markers. I'm looking for, I'm looking, oh, stretch markers. I'm sorry, stretch markers. So you can go there, stretch markers, and I could add a stretch marker at the cursor, or let's say this is what I would do. I would take this so it don't snap the grid and then that way I could stretch that out and let's say I could put you right here and I forgot the shortcut so I'll right click and go to uh, stretch markers and you can add stretch marker at cursor boom now see this has a stretch marker now watch what it does when I move it around look at that it'll stretch just from that point but leave that beginning alone I'm gonna undo that and what I could do is, there's a shortcut, let me see what it is, stretch markers, it's uh, shift W. So what I could do is, I could say, that, let's say I want one on that note, I'm going to put one, let's say at the beginning, shift W. Let's say I want to put one every bar, let's do that on that note, shift, hold shift, hit W. Uh, was that right? Did I want to do that? Hold up. Nope, I didn't. I'm going to undo that. But let's say, like I said, on every bar. So I'm going to do that. Let me take these off. So I'm going to put one. Wait, boom. Boom. boom two. No, I want it on the one, right? Yep. So this is what we're going to do. Put, put one click there. Shift W, and then let's say I want it to go here. Let me listen. Okay, so I'm gonna put one here on the end of that note. Shift W. I can scroll on down. It's a lot you can really do this around here. Let's cut the time on. Shift W, and then we'll go here, and I'll do this. I think that's it, just to show you what to do. So I got those marks there, right? So I got those marks there. Now what I could do is pick anyone. Right click, go to back to stretch markers. Oops, and then. Go back to stretch markers and where the hell are you at? Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Oh, stretch markers and selected items. You can snap them to grid. Bam. See what it did? See it snapped them? Now let's go back and listen to it. Turn the metronome. See what it did? 
so you can manipulate samples with these points and stretching and I can move this stretch and see how it does it move the rest of the sample ain't nothing chopped it's just stretch points see how you could do that and it's gonna sound stupid but let's hear it see I did that I could remember no snap is on so I'm just freely moving that I could turn the snap on and I can move these markers to different beats. You feel what I'm saying? You see what it did? So let's put you back, right? And so, so forth. forth. So, so time, time stretching, stretching like, like I say, bring, bring samples, samples in. You, you can, can move, move the pitch, pitch of them and all of that. And come down here, use my mouse roll, and move that back. Wish I could give you a better example, but uh. I think you, you got, got the gist, gist of it, of it right? right. Um, I, I hope this helped, man. Um, all, all the other shortcuts you know, undos and all of that. But let me just get you this ASI driver, and that should be it. Hope that was helpful, brother. It's a long video. Peace.